Hey guys, it's Killer Monkey here. We're back for the second Force Unleashed game. Unfortunately, I can't really hear it because of this headset, but whatever. I can hear it a little. The Force Unleashed 2. I'm not going to waste a lot of time and then almost not read it. The galaxy is on the brink of civil war. Inspired by the sacrifice of Darth Vader's secret apprentice, a ragtag rebel alliance plots to overthrow the evil galactic empire. Imperial forces in relentless pursuit of the rebels have captured the Jedi Knight Rom Koda. Its general lost, the alliance fleet has vanished. While the Empire searches for the Rebels, Darth Vader has put a dark plan in motion that will bring an end to his apprentice's legacy. Dark stuff. Alright, well, as I'm sure you've noticed already, I am significantly louder than last time. I'm trying to be more enthusiastic, and I've had a lot of soda today. That's coincidental. We went out to dinner for uh, this place called The Vineyard. If you by chance see this and you are in Virginia, in the Kil general area of Kiln Creek, I would highly recommend it. Great place. Great food. And I'm going to be quiet now because this is a very important cutscene. This will set up the entire plot of the game. Jedi Mentor has been captured. General Koda. Yes. When your training is complete, you will travel to Kato Nemoidia and execute him. Vader thinks he's turned you. But I can sense your future. And Vader won't always be your master. Still haunted by visions. Yes, Master. I sometimes smell a forest on fire. I see the general falling and I feel the ground shake as a starship crashes around me. I hear a woman's voice when I try to sleep. They are memories of a dead man. A side effect of the cloning process and the memory flashes used to train you. They will fade. And if they don't... Then you will be of no use to me. Starkiller's emotions made him weak. You must destroy what he created. Must learn to hate what he loved. What a dick. Alright. This little uh, training 
sequence. Um, a lot of people, typically what they'll do is they will just immediately attack Juno, because it seems that that's what you have to do. However, after going through this several times, I've learned that you really don't have to. Um, you can just keep fighting rebels and getting a lot of XP. Eventually the cutscene will have it on its own. I didn't mean to grab it there. Uh, so kill some rebels. Oh, whatever, I don't care. Uh, a couple things I want to explain real quick. Uh, this game plays very differently than the first one does. Uh, for one thing, all of your power-ups are going to come in holocrons. That's right, all of them. All your saber crystals are given all of your like extra XP. Um, also, your health and your force power upgrades are holocrons. Well, they're actually called Bacta tanks, but I'm pretty sure there's no green Bacta, so I don't like that because I'm a Sirs nerd. Um, as you can see, you have com a lot of pretty decent combos right from the beginning. Limbs and heads can be separated from the body in this one, and here we go into the cutscene. Yes. Strike her down. I can't. You will. You were created to do my bidding. <sighs> what an asshole. Then it is as I feel. Why is this happening to me? The accelerated cloning process is still imperfect. Those who came before you went mad within months. I believed you would be the first success. But it seems you want to suffer the same fate. What will you do with me? And... I'll explain in a second. And there it is. Alright, yeah. We don't serve Vader at all in this game. From the beginning, we are on the run. So, basically, uh, this is supposedly a clone of Starkiller. Um, which is, in my opinion, ridic ridiculous, because you're not supposed to be able to clone Jedi, but, you know... It's a game. It's not actually part of the story, necessarily. There's a lot of speculation that the first uh, Force Unleashed is actually relevant to this, the entire saga. This, on the other hand, there's nobody claiming that, because it's quite obviously not. Okay, I don't know why I couldn't slip through there, but okay. Uh, Stormtroopers. Uh, I kind of went right through the grate there. Okay, so as I was saying, um, everything comes in holocrons. You'll see what I'm talking about in a minute. I believe, um, with one exception, there's like two sets of crystals per, um, a set being two crystals. There's two sets of crystals per, uh, mission, I think. Don't quote me, because I'm usually wrong about crap like this, but it seems that way. <laughs> there's not a whole lot of missions. It's a pretty short game. It's even shorter than the first one, which is surprising because the first one we got through it in about five and a half hours. That's not true. Um, when I did my first walkthrough, when I did my walkthrough on the first game, we cleared the game in under seven hours. Um, considering the game was supposed to come out with about eight hours of content, that is almost kind of disturbing. But whatever. So yes. Oh uh, yeah, grapple. I should, uh, yeah, I'll do that. Die. And off you go. Haha. <laughs> I'm a terrible person, by the way. If you have not seen my first, um, LP, or if you, um, have forgotten already somehow, but, uh, considering, like, the timing on this, if you've seen my first one, already and you're seeing this now I doubt you've had enough time to forget that I'm a terrible person because it was like not even a week ago it was like five days ago that I did the whole thing maybe it was five days ago I believe that I started uploading originally alright so we got some force push up in here alright now we're gonna go over here 
gonna hold this. There's a lot of this in the game, you know, a lot of gripping platforms to pull them out or lift them up or whatever so that you can use them. Oh, come on, dude. Alright. Uh, really? Alright. Saber Crystal. Uh, in this first mission, you want to switch your first... You're probably your main crystal as soon as you do, as soon as you get that, because your crystal does not provide any bonus. Now, the Chaos Sabers do not provide any significant combat bonus. In fact, none at all, if I'm not mistaken. But they do give you more force points for destroying the environment. You see, like, um... If I, like, oh, God, God damn it. If I can be interrupted. Die. Die. Get up. Alright, now, as I was saying, like, look. Destroy this. You see those two little white spheres? Yeah. M extra force points from destroying environment. Uh, things from the environment, which is always a good thing. I like how um, glitchy that is where the stormtrooper just like commits suicide and I'm like, no, are you unhappy stormtrooper? Don't do it. Except I want him to die. Because I'm a bad person. Ah. It's a lot harder to like throw something directly at like a moving vehicle or something like than it was in the first one. This game controls a lot differently though. Ah, uh, oh. Oh. Well, glad I didn't go. And another crystal, which is... Wisdom, I believe? Meditation, okay. Alright, so now we have... Wait, I didn't even check on what it does. Alright, this one gives extra force points for the environment. Replenishes force energy with each strike. So yeah, you don't get a lot of really useful stuff early on. But you do get stuff. And stuff is important. And I like how it just prompts us to force push them horribly into this thing. And kill them. Even though we have to kill them. But, you know. Don't necessarily have to do it horribly. Die. Yeah, your force push is pretty useless early on. You can charge it and other, and other stuff, which is more than you had to begin with in the first game, but still. Not a lot going for you at the beginning. Alright, um... Oh, look at you. Look at you being all alive still. Son, I am proud. I like how he died from that. I was gonna, like let him stand up and then just like grapple him and throw him off and then I didn't I wonder die die ah. um those guys with the stabs um obviously they look similar to the um uh, what are they called? Senate guards from the first one. Royal Senate guards, royal guards, um, shadow guards, whatever. There's a few different kinds, so yeah. However, they fight differently. They actually fight much, much more like the... Uh, like Grievous's personal guards from the movie from Revenge of the Sith. Which I think was pretty neat. 